is Lamont here, and we are, we are in a Chromatose. Now, this is an itch.io game, and uh, pretty much, it's fairly interesting. It's a visual novel RPG uh, S game, and that by itself is an interesting mix. These are important questions, so take your time. You be miserable with others, or for others to be miserable about you. Uh, I'd rather be miserable. Ooh. Hmm. Not sure what the colors are for. Thank you. I thank you for your cooperating. Please be honest in these next questions. Do you spend more time thinking about the past or the future? The future. Nice music, though. I have two more questions for you. Do you feel like you would be in a better place if you cared more or cared less? I'll go cared more. This is the last question. Please be careful with the answers. Do you remember what I said about fate and destiny? Fate is meant to happen because of your actions, because you willed it. Fate is meant to happen regardless of action. Okay. Is your downfall your destiny or your fate? The reason I ask you is because there seems to be no reason for your demise. Many often say that there are no reasons, but in actuality, this is impossible. Anything that happens is only is the only thing that ever happened. That ever happened could have happened. Everything that leads up to something happening is responsible for it happening. Nothing has ever happened without reason, except for this. How can you possibly cause your own downfall without reason? I can't let you die before you give me an answer. <clears throat> I have an idea. You're short on time, so I'll delay your demise. Rough estimating, I could give you at most 12 hours to meet your destiny or fate before your demise catches up with you. I'm certain that 12 hours is enough time for me to figure out exactly the type of person you are. Don't worry about my question. I'll have my answer soon. Destiny beckons, little one. What? Where? What? What is this place? It's night, but it's so bright. Where am I? Why am I? A room I never walked into, lying to bed I never slept in. This hospital somewhere? Uh. Working arms? Check. Legs work fine? Check. Head's working? I hope so. Wait. There's something attached to my arm, and I. IV drip? Ow. <laughs> okay. Note to self, don't pull on the arm thing. Hey, what's with that freaky tattoo on my hand? I don't understand. The last I remember I was just, I was just what? The day, time, or where am I? Actually, why am I so sure I'm not sick? I feel sick, I feel tired. Maybe I should need more sleep. Maybe I'm just dreaming. I'll just go back to sleep and wake up in real life eventually. Yeah, that'll work. T Hello there. How do you feel? Does anything hurt? You hear me, Leroy? Lower. Okay. This game definitely has the persona the Persona art style, because you can tell how the rough, how roughly sharp it is, right? At least some of these ang angled lines are, and the art style itself is fairly similar to Persona style, like our sh our shadowing, like right here on the shoulders, at least. Although to be fair, I haven't, I haven't played a Persona game, but I, ne I've seen other people play, it, and that's general. That's a decent indicator of a, uh, at least the harsh, uh, shadowing here is a good indicator of the art style. Who 
made Persona anyways, because I feel like it's those developers that made the game. Uh, at least, or at least had a hand in making this game. Hmm. So, EMT. So Leroy is an EMT. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Anyways, you sustained a brain injury while we were evacuating patients because you made a very bad decision. That storm was literally roaring over our heads. You just had to end up like this. Wait, why is she sitting there? I hope that's the edge of the bed. That accident happened three weeks ago as of yesterday. You've been in coma ever since. I was starting, really starting to worry about you. Maybe for the day you finally wake up. Oh jeez. I never said you woke up. Doosh. And the blood red moon. Is he? Hello? Where'd you go? The Glasgow National Hospital. Well, here we go. Okay, here we go. Definitely art style of persona, that's for sure. What the hell is this? I don't remember what this is. Well. Here we go. A phone? How long is this thing gonna be ringing for? Whoever is calling must really want to get through. Though, from the look of it, this is a hospital ward phone. You probably can't call it unless you're calling from somewhere else in the hospital. How do I know this? Where have I seen this phone before? Come on, think. Think! If I can remember this phone, I might remember something important about who I am. Something came up. Instantly, involuntarily, forcibly. Suddenly something hidden in the shadows of my forgotten memories emerges and barrels toward me. I already feel it closing around my thoughts. I got no choice. I gotta fight back. How do you fight again back against your own mind? For each battle you have to construct a deck built from the cards you own. <coughs> number of cards equipped, number of cards collected. You can only use card colors you have discovered only as many as you collected. For now, you have 40 black cards. Use all the cards to not disappear after using battle. Okay. Destiny beckons. Ch huh. Didn't realize this game had loading, though. Oh, here we go. Limited amount of time to defeat enemies that appear. Arrows to play the card next to them. Deal damage to your target. For now, none of your cards have any special effects, so play freely. Okay. Also, when you're attacked, your cards may turn into colorless cards with negative effects. It takes long. Think carefully when you see these cards. Uh, in case of emergency, you have space bar to discard your cards in hand draw for new cards. This comes with a massive time penalty, so use it sparingly. In truly hopeless situations, you can press F to immediately forfeit the battle. Okay. Tuh. That is an interesting battle system, I will admit. So, we might have a problem. Uh-oh. What's up? I can't get to the elevator. I guess they deactivated my card already. That's not good. Maybe you should check the staff room. I think there should be an extra key card in there. Where's the room? Should be right next to you. 502. Alright, thanks. I'll check there. Alright, see you soon. Alright. This? That is a fairly interesting battle system. I guess it's this one. It is really polished, to be fair. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
<laughs> this is very interesting. Return to the Nightmare. I swear, it has to be uh, pers one of the A Persona developers that made this game. Or at least this demo. This isn't a spare card. It's literally someone else's. Thanks for your kind donation, Bernie Wilson. I'll give this back later. Hopefully Bernie didn't get fired this week too. An ID card. Oh, here we go. Uh... Definitely out of here. Oh, okay. Here we go. Tutorial levels. Damn it. Oh, this is very interesting. I kind of wish there was some sort of results screen show you how well you did. Alright, art's working. What's more, it looks like I have access to every floor. What the hell am I doing? I'm stealing a card just to get out. Alright. Uh, colors? Where are the floor numbers? Maybe the bottom button leads directly to exit? More of those things in the building. I need to I need to just leave and not explore anything unnecessarily. Yeah, screw that. I'm gonna explore. It's in my nature. Also, what if the girl said it's true and I'm still in the coma then? This place must be all in my head. So this is all my imagination, huh? Then, maybe I'm controlled in to some degree, like a lucid dream. What if I close my eyes and pretend I'm safe and sound at home? I'm safe and sound at home. I am Leroy Jenkins. I can't remember what home looks like. It doesn't look like I can control this place freely anyways. I also doubt I can leave as easily as hitting the exit button on some elevator. I suppose I, the best move is to make sure that I can't just take the exit out. Besides, I don't think I can handle seeing even one of the, one more of those monsters. Okay. I was next. I said close it. Right. To the exit. Well. Guess that'll work. Alright. Hey, Izzy. Oh, hi, Leroy. You're here, though. Hold on. Listen, why'd you abandon me like that? I had to. I got... You don't just get away with this by giving me a pouty face. You can't... You can't just drop something like that on a guy and walk away. And you never came back, either. Have you been out here this whole time? I'm sorry. I thought it made sense to wait by the exit. Why did you disappear in the first place? That's not important right now. The ambulance is coming soon. Okay, Izzy. You lost me again. Why are you waiting for the ambulance? So you could get on it. Can I maybe get some information about that? You're killing me here. And don't give me that long-suffering sigh. I didn't ask you to run a marathon or anything. Okay, fine. We have some time before he gets here, so I guess I can explain. Start from the top. Please. So you know how I told you that the real you is still in the coma? What do you mean by that? I'm awake and talking to you right now. That's because this world isn't the real world. Like you asked, it's a dream. Kind of. This is bull. I know you're scared and confused, but what I'm saying is pretty simple. The real Leroy is currently in a coma. This world is full of people whose real selves are comatose, just like you. So, one mind. But you shouldn't worry about them. You should focus on yourself, okay? Why is she... Why should you want me to focus on myself? So, am I dying? Well, in a way. Isn't everyone? Don't get philosophical here, lady. Oh, 
Why would you think you're dying? Brain injuries that lead to cult was generally result in death. Is that true? Is that a legit, uh... Is that a legit, uh... Outcome of that? Hmm. Huh. Well, you're alive in stable condition right now. I'm halfway between being comatose and being dead. Technically, both comatose and dead are incredibly stable conditions. Uh, I guess. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let this one go before sh she changes her mind and leaves again. Fine. Whatever, so why am I in this world? This world is a test. Well, normally it is, but not for you. Lucky boy, you get to go out sc scot free. This is why I said you just need to wait for an ambulance. If you get on the ambulance, you wake up. Easy peasy. Like that. This seems too easy. There's gotta be catch somewhere. Why don't you take a seat with me? It won't be long. How do you know all this? That's also not important right now, okay? Let me explain the rest. Everyone who comes here receives a mark somewhere on their body. A mark? Hmm. It's a mark, like a tattoo, and they're color-coded, like the one on your hand. Your color corresponds to the reason you're in a coma. For example, Leroy, yours is black. Wait. So there are people around here with brain injuries and they all have black marks? Not quite. When I say reasons, I don't mean the medical ones exactly. How can I put this? Everyone here has some kind of flaw and made some kind of choice that put them here. That's the reason. So, so it's like your fatal flaw or something. That doesn't totally make sense to me, but I'll roll with it. Fatal flaw that puts you in a comatose? Actually, like I said, you're the special case. Black means none. You didn't have a flaw that put you here. You just made a mistake. Yeah, getting whacked over by a building. That's why I told you that this world isn't a test for you. You're the you're an exception. You could choose to leave. This is a test for other people, right? What kind of test? Well, basically, normally you relive your memory and reverse the bad choice you made that put you here, and then you wake up. Huh? Some court sort of joke? Sounds like a movie, and a bad B-grade one as that. Nope. All you have to do is get on the ambulance when it comes, and you'll wake up. So come on, sit down with me, okay? It's really that easy? Yep. Shouldn't you be grateful? Yeah, I'm not buying it. Don't to think of it, since you're here too, where's your mark? Tuh. Honey, tuh. Well, I'm pretty sure where it is now. Alright, I guess. Sorry. Anyways, the ambulance comes here every hour for 12 hours, so you can take it where you want. No reason to wait that long. It'll be here in a few minutes. Hang on. Finally 12 hours. What happens then? If you don't take the ambulance by hour 12, then game over. You never wake up. We're way, we're way ahead of the schedule, so don't worry. So if an out, quote unquote, three, we've been in that hospital bed for so far three hours, uh, three weeks. Three weeks would, and she just said in a few minutes, so I would have to take, take that by word that if a few minutes equals one hour, in this area, so that would mean one month, in reality? Okay, we've been here, I haven't seen or heard a thing. What's going on? It feel, feels like it been sour. Hey Izzy, hasn't it been in a while already? Be patient, silly, it's coming. Don't you trust me? No. Maybe I can look around until the ambulance shows up? Well, you panicked. But if you miss it, then it'll still come around again for 11 more hours, right? Don't you want to wake up? Don't you want to go home? There's no reason to stay here when you can just leave. I'm just trying to help you, Leroy. I don't think she has any reasons to lie to me, but... Huh. Okay. 
you got an important decision to make. What is it going to be, little one? I'm going to check things out. I just like to explore. Sorry, Izzy. This just is feel right. I'll stay close by so I can hear the ambulance come. Wait, okay? No, don't. There's no point. I have to have a look around, okay? I'll be back. I just can't wait here forever. No? Oh, jeez. She's about to stab me. Alright. I need to warn you about something. Don't worry. I already know about the monsters in here. This is a different kind of monster. Avoid anyone you see with a white mark. Why? What's so special about white marks? They will do everything they can to keep you from waking up. If you see someone with a white mark, you must do your best to escape what or they could say anything to you. Don't fall for their any of their tricks. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, Izzy. Don't thank me. When with time I hope you'll come to forgive me. That's a weird statement to make. I hope you could forgive me. That is the weirdest statement anyone could have given me. Here we go. So, uh... I guess... Red. Hm. Okay. Here we go. Red Light District. Oh, jeez! Green Madonna, Pro Fighter, Cerebral Vascular, Very Poor Recognizes, Complete Uh, IV Medication Strongly Recommended. Okay. Huh? Whoa! Holy shit! This is a lot of people. Wait, hang on. Are these really people? I can't tell if there's some kind of illusions or they're just ignoring me. They don't seem to be reacting to me at all. Well, where there's smoke, there's fire. Something must be going on past here. Bouncer? Turn around and walk away, glasses. Shit. I was really hoping that security guard was one of them. No one's going in. She doesn't take visitors. If I want it in there, I better think fast. Oh, well, I really need to see her. Do you now, buddy? How many times do you think I heard that line? I'm not paparazzi. Neither are any of these upstanding citizens. Yeah, right. This isn't going anywhere. I can't do this. How am I supposed to keep calm and come up with an excuse with this jerk in the face? I just don't have the patience with a shit like this. Oh, wow. Well, looks like I won't be going in there anytime soon. And what was patience, uh, blue? Huh. I guess I should check out this area first. I guess I'll go with blue. Blue's nice and calm, right? Or something. So I guess there's an order you gotta take. This elevator sure has been moving for, for a long time. Just me or is there something moving out there? Oh god, please let let there not be any more of those monsters. Do they ever end? Well, there's no way around it. Time to go. Water. It drowns the young care. Water inhalation fatal. Exposure to cold water results in shock and can be fatal. Changes in pressure could lead to Deep compression sickness that can be fatal, so the bands is fatal. Chop. Okay, well. Water, why is it there? So cold. Cold, cold, cold. Elevator button is work. I have no choice. Gotta find a way out. <coughs> Losing battles or experiencing some, or something will stress you out, reducing your state of mind. Your state of mind influences how much time you start in the duel. As your state of mind worsens, you will start future duels with significantly less time on the clock. Resting in a bed or spending time doing something calming will improve your state of mind. 
not let your state of mind get too low. Oh, there we go. Oh, jeez. Damn, it's tanking. Won't budge. Is this it? Am I gonna die here? Wait. Can I even die in this world? Can't. No more. Can't breathe. Well, apparently I survived. Uh, um, are you dead? <laughs> I'm coughing up water? That's right, the floor flooded. Oh man, I'm soaked. Who's this girl? How is she alive in here? Did she save me? Don't panic. It's okay. You're okay. But on the back of her hand, what is it? It's a blue tattoo. Exactly like the black one I have on my hand. This, she must be a blue mark, whatever that means. I'm not dead. I think. I think. So am I, stranger. So am I. Did you save me? Oh, well, I mean, I heard you struggling. I don't... I couldn't leave you out there. And when you weren't breathing, I just thought rescue breathing CPR to all hail CPR. Of course. I would never just abandon someone to die. I don't know what to say now. The choir girl is not volunteering any more information either. Do you mind a question? No. Go ahead. I'm not sure how helpful I can be though. I was just wondering, uh, where you're from. Mandarin's so good, I... Mandarin? What the heck is this girl talking about? We both... We're both speaking English, obviously. Maybe she's not... All... Not all there. Yingyu? Yingyu? Huh. I'm sorry, I don't get it. Mandarin? I don't speak Mandarin. Never spoken anything but English my whole life. But what? But you're speaking it right now, though. This makes absolutely zero sense. Okay, there's a, a lot I'm not sure, but I could definitely tell you that I'm speaking English, and so are you. I believe you, I just... Well, never mind, I guess. It doesn't really seem to be crazy. It has to be something to do with this world we're in. It's just a guess. I have no proof, okay? But I think somehow this world has the power to make us understand each other. A worldwide translator. Wouldn't that be great? Hmm. Kind of like the water. She goes silent again, not offering any... Fr I have to think... I think I have to steer the conversation myself at this rate. Well, actually, I was wondering... What is your name? Oh no. I'm sorry. How can I forget to tell you the only thing I remember? Is Quentin. Isn't Quentin a guy's name? It's certainly not Chinese, but it would be rude to say anything. Nobody gets to choose their name. It's not her fault, after all. Anyways, nice to meet you then, Quentin. Name's Leroy Jenkins! What do you mean, like the water? I would put this. Uh, the water isn't totally real. What are you saying? It's not real. I almost drowned in it a few minutes ago. If you don't know it's... Not really, then you could probably drown, yes. But for some reason, if you think real hard and stay calm, you could breathe in water. You just gotta remember that you're not really drowning. I know it's, that possibly doesn't make sense, but I've done it a few times. All you had to do... Oh wow. Mind over matter. I guess. This is nor. I mean, we're talking in right now, after all. He's right. I'm not sure why, but maybe this world is influencing our perception. What the? What is that card there? I haven't luck yet. I can't get out. Why not? Actually, since you probably don't know, there's ambulance outside at every hour. Supposedly, if we get on it, we could leave. Okay, well, maybe not exactly what Izzy told me, but I don't see why Quentin shouldn't be able to get on the ambulance with us. I doubt it has anything to do with magic force fields, or this place would have some way of stopping people who hasn't passed their test from getting on the ambulance. Really? The ambulance? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's true, but we should try. Hmm. 
I'm with you. Does this thing lead outside? Sorry if it's so tight in here. I think it was meant for one person. We're pretty far down here, so we need to move slow. Wait. Far down here? I figure you want out of here as soon as you can. Well, if the pressure around such change too quickly, we might get decompression sickness. Uh, maybe you heard of it, the bends? Yeah. Wait, is that why we're in a pressure chamber? You know what this is? Mostly. I was an EMT, apparently. I don't remember everything, but it seems like I still know a bit. Oh. Water and air pressure, since we're far down. Okay. I don't really have a gauge for what depth would count as far down. Average recreational scuba diver achieves a depth of 40 meters, so... And a feet... One, uh, three feet equals roughly four me a meter, so... That is roughly 120 feet. The current world record for depth achieved and survived by a human is 300 meters, or a thousand feet. Okay, that can... That's my idea. Gas commonly used for scuba become too dangerous to use at 2,000 meters. Too toxic at 3,000, and... That is actually a lot of informa information on scuba diving that she is uh, letting us know. But yeah, I guess. That's pretty cool. For a girl in more danger, she quinsters... Sir, sure is calm. I can't help but envy her. Something she just said is bothering me. You said that this school is sinking. I'm pretty sure we're in a hospital. <clears throat> I thought it looked like a school. Sure, the elevator is always in the hospital for sure, right? Well, maybe it doesn't really matter. Let's just get moving. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> She, there's no way she'd be bluffing at this point. Tuh. I wish I could relax as Quinn looks with the water rising past my neck. I can't do it. I can't. The water's so cold. It's like my friend's lungs are freezing solid. Why did I agree to this? Don't hold your breath, Leroy. Just breathe. See? Oh, Quinn's totally fine. Okay, maybe this isn't possible. Wait. How can I even hear her voice? That is actually a very good question. Just breathe, Lily Roy. Okay, alright, I think I'm okay. You did it. Now we would like this for a little while, we could go... Hey, sorry for the random question, but... Why do we have to go slowly again? I mean, if the water is imaginary, isn't the pressure imaginary too? Once you get used to breathing water, it's... It never gets... It never gets any harder to breathe. But this place is sinking. And the pressure gets worse. Pressure is imaginary is only the, is the only reason we're alive right now. But even imaginary pressure could build up and the hell build up and become possible to bear. What is that supposed to mean? What do you mean? Uh, never mind. I'm starting to notice a pattern where Quinn just stops talking right before sharing crucial information. I admit that. Being shy can be endearing, but this is not the time. Come on. What's up? Did you maybe see anything weird on your way here? Yeah. Unfortunately. I kept having to deal with those freaky monsters. So you did see them. What should we do if we run into them? I guess we don't really have... We don't really get a choice. We fight them. Who is better than one, at least? Right. Maybe with your help, I might actually be able to fight them off. Let's do this. Scream your the sinking school ground. Whoa, where are we? We can do this, we can do this. Hang on, Quinn, where are we? This isn't where I came from. What do you mean? This is where you where I found you though. <laughs> no way. I was in a hospital, I'm sure of it. Not this. This is a school, like you said. So you don't know the way out from here. Sorry. I never even seen this place before. Ouch. Way to shoot your hopes down. I disappointed her. After I said all that stuff about escaping. Maybe we can look around. Maybe there's a different way out somewhere around here. There isn't. I already checked. 
There are nine clubs room among three floors. I think I saw a bullet support upstairs. Upstairs. Every other hallway and stairs are blocked. I can't get into any of the rooms on my own because of the doors and all. She stops talking again, but I know exactly what she was going to say. They're being guarded by those monsters. We, do we escape by breaking a window and swimming to the surface or something? I saw something out there in the open water, watching me. If you look out the window for a long enough time, you see it too. She doesn't offer any further description of it. Great, that only makes it sound scarier. It doesn't look like it could get us here, but if we try to leave, so we're trapped. What can we do? Wait to be rescued? Screw that. Said I could lose my chance to wake up. I should have listened. Screw that, I'm just I'm gonna look around. <clears throat> right. Now let's check them out together. Stay close to me. The singing So the school within Quinn's mind is shaking. As it continues to sink into the abyss, depth will permanently permanently Every thousand meters your maximum state of mind will decrease. State of mind affects how much time you start with during battle of depth will not increase during dialogues to take your time reading so right you want to try this door or let's do this <laughs> when you explore another visitor's mind they'll join you in any battle you account in battle you automatically draw alternating between drawing from your deck you assemble and your partner's deck Visitors' debt will usually be weak against the nightmares of, from their own minds, so if they're, you're having trouble winning battles, try exploring other minds first. Accommodate your partner's weakness to survive. Cards from a visitor are likely to be drawn inverted while fighting nightmares from their own minds. Inverted cards will always have negative effects. Hmm. I guess I gotta avoid drawing pulling blue. I guess for now I'll just stick with what I have. Take a breath. Here we go. Ah shit! Oh. <laughs> this is actually fun. Dump that. Okay. <laughs> this is really, really fun. God damn it. Oh, there goes that. Dump that. Okay. <laughs> nice. This is a really fun, uh... Alright. It's not a regime we don't have any power. Damn, that's cynical way. <sighs> One goes upstairs. This goes downstairs. And we'll... I guess we'll clear this. We'll try this door, or... Selection is also the same as well. I just realized that. Here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Damn it. Alright. More time. Ditch that. Well, there goes that one. Okay. Damn it. Well. Damn it. 
jeez, I was pushing it a little bit. Let's go in here. Surfing club. We can't draw. <laughs> I think I'll probably call one more room before I'll call the episode here. This is really interesting. I will not deny that. I hope they I hope the creators go on to make this game because I would definitely buy it. Alright, here we go. Take a breath. Damn it! Okay. Well, I'm gonna ditch that. God damn it. Oh, there goes that option as well. Okay, uh... Damn it. Damn it, there goes that. Okay, well, ditch that. Damn it! There goes that time one. Oh, I'm pushing it. Oh, okay then. Turn it. This is very, very interesting. Boat Club, who drew this? <laughs> wow, that is actually really, really good. Well, I guess on that note, uh, I'm gonna call the episode here, so, uh, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, throw this video a like. And if you want to see more contents like this, subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.